Hi, I'm Chris at LiftMaster, and I'm going to walk you through programming steps for the LiftMaster Cam A Fernie Swing Gate Operator. Your Fernie Swing Gate Operator will arrive in two separate boxes. The first box will contain the gear motor plus the cover, a transmission arm, a curved arm, gate bracket, miscellaneous hardware, and the installation manual. The second box is going to contain the control panel, the LiftMaster Security Plus 2.0 radio card, and warning placards. The gear motor mounts to the column in either a right hand or left hand configuration, shown here in a right hand configuration. Attach the mounting plate to the column in the desired location and also attach the gate bracket to the gate in its desired location. Depending on a right hand or left hand configuration, drill out a hole in the appropriate side below the release cover for the release handle. Drill out the top hole for a left hand configuration or drill out the bottom hole for a right hand configuration. Attach the cover to the gear motor. Now you're ready to attach the transmission arm to the gear motor and the curved arm between the transmission arm and the gate bracket. To set up encoder limits, connect the wires from the positive, E, and negative terminals on the gear motor to terminals positive, E, and negative on the control board. To wire the gear motor power, connect wires from M and N on the gear motor to M2, N2 on the control panel. To connect the photo eyes, connect terminal 10 from the IR receiver to terminal 10 of the control board. Connect terminal 2 from the IR receiver to terminal 2 of the IR transmitter and also terminal 2 of the control board. Also place a jumper between terminal 2 of the IR receiver and terminal C of the IR receiver. Connect TX terminal of the IR receiver to the TX terminal of the IR transmitter. Connect terminal NC of the IR receiver to either CX, CY, or CZ input terminal on the control board. Starting with the power off, insert the Security Plus 2.0 radio card into the AF slot of the control board and reconnect power. Press the Learn button on the Security Plus 2.0 radio card and the green LED will illuminate. Press and hold the transmitter button until the green LED goes out. You've now learned a transmitter into the radio card. Now you must pair the Security Plus 2.0 radio card with the control board. To do so, press and hold the enter button to go into program mode. Go to users, add user, confirm related function 2-7, waiting code. At this point, press and hold the transmitter button and you get a successful acknowledgement of learned transmitter. Now you successfully pair the LiftMaster Security Plus 2.0 radio card with the control board. When powering up the control panel for the first time, the default language is Italian. There's also three errors, stop, C1, and C3. All those errors must be cleared before you can use the control panel for the first time. To set the language, press and hold enter button for one second to enter program mode. Select language, scroll to desired language, and hit enter. Now we need to clear those errors. So we'll go to functions, total stop. Now we neither need to install a normally closed stop button or disable. Here I will disable. CX input. Now I must either install a secondary entrapment protection device or disable. Here I will disable. CY input. I must either install a secondary entrapment protection device or disable. Here I will disable. Now I must select a number of motors. I go to IMP run and hit enter. For a single gate application, I hit enter and select M2 and hit enter. Now I need to go to functions and hit enter.
and make sure encoder is enabled and make sure config is set to encoder. Now I will scroll to encoder, enter, scroll to slow run encoder and set to off. The control panel has now been configured and is ready for use. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy your new CAMA Fernie gate operator supported by LiftMaster with our new exclusive Security Plus 2.0 radio technology.